This is the mayor of Blacktown. Today is Thursday, August 14, 2014. Uh, I'm making this video because I have not made any videos in a very long time, and that's for a lot of different reasons. The most obvious reason is because so much of what I've been preaching about the damage and the danger of feminism, uh, it should be obvious by now. I've made hundreds of videos that I've uploaded on YouTube, and I've had about seven YouTube channels, and they have all been deleted, and it's no coincidence because that uh, their deletion represents how serious or how vast the conspiracy to suppress what I preach, uh, to keep what I preach suppressed. Yeah. Uh, yet the purpose of this video that I'm making now is because yet another uh, major piece of evidence has emerged of how vast the conspiracy, uh, the feminist conspiracy is to keep black men oppressed. Uh, and there it is right there. That is a screenshot from the New York Times, July 29, 2014. And the headline reads, The Girls Obama Forgot. Uh, Kimberly Williams Crenshaw, My Brother's Keeper Ignores Black Women. Uh, the article basically goes on to talk about how the initiative that President Obama started in February of 2014, a few months ago, uh, to confront and address the needs of black boys, black and Hispanic boys, uh, this black feminist is claiming that the initiative ignores black girls or black women or the mothers of the boys. Uh, I'm having, in many ways, a difficult time even talking because this is just utterly sick in terms of the uh, contradiction and hypocrisy of this black feminist. Uh, for months and, quite frankly, even years, black feminists have been complaining about how much more advanced black women are in society than black men and that black women can't find good men on her level, quote unquote, that black women are more educated than black men, that there are more black men in jail than there are in college, blah, 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 blah. We've been hearing this for a long time. And of course, I've even shown in many of my videos the uh, March 3rd, 2003 issue of Newsweek. I have it hanging on my wall uh, in my house. Yeah, yeah. And it says, from schools to jobs, black women are rising much faster than black men. What it means for work, family, and race relations. That's the March 3rd, 2003 issue of Newsweek. This is 2014, over 10 years later. And now these hypocrite black feminists are still complaining. And that's all feminism does. It's black feminists who complain, even though they have resources. And now that it's finally time, after 40 years of feminism, after 40 years of black women's needs or women's needs in general being addressed, now that it's time to address the needs of black boys, who we all see have many problems symbolized and epitomized by their sagging pants, and of course, how they're being shot like Michael Brown was just shot in St. Louis, uh, what, a couple days ago, this past Saturday. Now that it's time for black boys to have their issues addressed, uh, the feminists are complaining. And there it is right there. For those of you who didn't, who, who didn't understand what I have been saying about you being in a gender war, there it is. Funny how God works, isn't it? And that's why I haven't been making any videos because I generally make videos after some evidence emerges that serves to prove what I've been saying uh, about something that, quite frankly, black men, you should already know. 
about by now how vast the feminist conspiracy is. It's culminated in the gay marriage phenomena, uh, the LGBTQ phenomena, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, blah, blah, blah. Coincidentally, uh, driving down the street today, coincidentally, I saw two, in, in the black community, I saw two lesbians walking down the street holding hands. I don't even see black men walking down the street holding hands with black women. But I saw two lesbians. So help me God, I saw this. One of them was big, I guess she was the man. And she had on a striped shirt. And I noticed, the other one looked like a girl, but I noticed this person had breasts. And I'm thinking, wow, those are two women. So. No coincidence that uh, now I'm making this video. And of course, like I said, there it is right there. Uh, so I'm encouraging everyone to follow this My Brother's Keeper initiative and how it's being attacked by the feminist. Uh, for those of you who have not believed what I've been saying about feminism and how vast that feminist conspiracy has been for the last 40 years and how you... Uh, may not have understood or believed the evidence that I've shown you. Well, here it is again. There it is right there. New York Times, July 29th, 2014, which was just what? A week ago. Yeah, just a week ago. So that's it. I'm not, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not making an, a, another long elaborate video like I've already made hundreds of videos. Uh, black man, you don't seem to see the genius of what I preach. Well, you know, after in the Bible, according to that story of Moses and Pharaoh, after Pharaoh finally let the slaves go, after Moses uh, made that epic declaration of let my people go, and, and Pharaoh eventually let the people go, uh, guess what happened? Eventually, Pharaoh changed his mind and he decided he was going to slaughter the people. Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of where you're at now, black man. Yeah. You don't realize how vast the cons feminist conspiracy is and how serious uh, white racism is. Yeah. Racism. And then sometimes it's not even racism. White people have a long history of violence among themselves. Yeah. I've already said this in hundreds of videos. You should see my genius by now. I should have thousands of supporters. And I'm at a point where I need my supporters. I need my supporters. I need you because tensions are rising. Tensions in America are rising. Black men it's time for you to join the men's movement and support what I preach. This is the mayor of Blacktown. All the strong black men, let me hear you say it again. Amen.